Hello and welcome to OTR Logbook. Today I'm going to be walking you through the basic functions and features of this app. So let's get started. Uh, as you can see the app icon on the home screen of my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app up. And the first screen that I'm going to come to is the log details screen. On this screen you can see uh, previously enter logs for previous dates that I had worked. The hours listed on those days are the hours worked so they are only the hours that you are on duty or driving they do not show hours in sleeper berth or off duty the first thing you would want to do if this is your first time opening up the app is go to the settings tab and enter your name uh, you can see I've entered a name previously so it is there but once you've entered your name you'll want to push save and this will allow your name to come up in the signature part of the log part as well as the inspection part on the PDF file. So now that we've entered a name, we can go back to the log details screen. And today we want to create a new log. So we will push the plus button in the upper corner and it takes us to the basic information page. You can see that the date has been auto filled with today's date. Now, if you were needing to create previous day's logs, you could select the date, the calendar function pops up, in which case you could select a different date if you needed to. But I need to create one for today, so I'll go ahead and leave it on the 22nd. Back to our basic information page, you can see the category first is total miles driving today. Obviously that's something we would enter at the end of the day, so we don't need to fill that in right now but we do need to go on to the next category in our vehicle number. So I'll select that, enter my truck number, then next to my trailer number. Get those both entered there. Now the next field is co-driver. Uh, today I wouldn't be having co-driver, but if you were, this is where you'd enter their name. So we'll move on to carrier name. This is the spot where you'd enter the name of your carrier if you have previously entered a carrier name it will be saved under your favorites I have previously used a carrier so I will go to my favorites and you can see a list of carriers I've used there in which case you can also edit an entered carrier by pushing the pencil icon or delete it by pushing the red X just to clear one up I'm gonna get that one out of there so I have my carrier listed there, so I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, main office address would be next. This is where you'd enter the office address for your carrier. Also, again, if you have previously used an address, that will be saved in your favorites. Or you also have the option to use the GPS function of your phone if you are at that location, your main office address. Uh, accuracy of the GPS differs from device to device so be sure that it is properly entered for that reason I do like to type it in myself and once I've typed it in since it is in my favorites I'll just go ahead and pick that address shipping and commodity give us the opportunity to enter what we are hauling or bill of lading or document numbers so I like always like to enter a bill of lading number just because it is short and sweet so I'll go ahead and enter a number for the bill of lading for the products that I'm carrying today. But you could also type in uh, descriptors of what it is that you're hauling. So now we have all of our basic information to get started. Uh, we will push the next. And that takes us to our log screen. Uh, it's basic log grid that's required by FMCSA rules. Now you can see that the grid is a little large for the screen of the phone, but if you're able to drag it around, you can get full view of it. Because of this, we had to use a lock and unlock function for drawing the lines on our grid. So as you can see, there's a lock, a reset, a remarks, and a next button at the top, and then our hours being calculated at the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to start my log for the day. So I will go ahead and push the lock button to lock the screen of the phone and begin drawing my line. As you can see, the line comes up in the off-duty where my finger is. 
Each time that you draw a line and stop, it's going to give you the option to add a remark. I don't need to add a remark there, so I will push cancel and I will move to the on duty section and draw my line there. Now at this point, I'm going to enter my remark and so I will put in pre-trip for my pre-trip inspection and also at this time be getting loaded so I will enter that as well then we can go to the address that we need to enter at which point you can type in the address of the place that you're at or you can also use the GPS function if enabled on your phone to enter the city state and zip code of the location while you're currently there so I will go ahead and type in the name of the nearest town that I'm at get the zip code in there and that remark has been saved and so far you can see that as the lines have been drawn you can see how many hours you have in each category and your total hours used so far so at this point we're going to move up to the driving category and start our day now, I can go ahead and click next at this point we're going to continue to be driving and give, it brings me to my inspection page because obviously this isn't the end of my day I don't need to enter an inspection yet so at this time I'll just put saved now as you can see the log we just created is at the top of the list of logs so we want to continue our day with that log so we'll go ahead and select it again uh, brings us back to our basic information page at which time I still don't need to enter anything there so I'll go ahead and next on to the log screen uh, which you can see our previously drawn lines on our grid are still present uh, this time I'm going to go ahead and continue because I've been driving for a while I will continue my line in the driving category and of course once the line has been drawn it does give you the option again to enter a remark I do not need to enter a remark for that uh, looking at my line though it looks like I did get a little carried away with how far I I drew it so which time I will push the reset button and it takes me back to my previously saved lines now once the log has been saved those lines cannot be erased by pushing the reset button uh, in which case you would have to delete the entire day's log and go back to it but until it had been saved I could erase everything I'm doing right here so I was able to erase that line so let's try that again go to lock and draw my line each phone is a little different with how touchy they are so might have to play around with it a little bit but it is pretty simple to use it just takes a little bit of time to get there uh, we'll go back to our on duty section as well and I find entering small increments of 15 minutes or 0.25 is best done by drawing in a downward motion on the grid instead of trying to draw across because it is a small amount so we will continue the rest of our day we're gonna go off duty from here so go ahead and drag our line across to the top and finish out our day now you can see on the bottom of the screen that the hours for each category have been added up so you can see how many hours you've been off duty, sleeper, driving, on duty, and then your total hours. So everything looks good there. So go ahead and go to next. Uh, brings me to our inspection page. Now here you can select whether you found a defect or whether you didn't. And if you did find one, you'd be able to enter that information in the appropriate box. Uh, we did not detect any defects in our equipment today so we'll go ahead and select that sign it by turning the signature on and pushing save now I realized that I hadn't entered the miles driving today so I need to go back and do that 
and now that my basic information is complete I can go to next and also I did forget to enter a remark for my second on duty so I will go to the remarks and you can see the one that is there currently the one I had previously entered but I do need to add another one uh, we'll push title and we will put post trip inspection and the address once again you can use the GPS function to enter the address or you can type it in it's your choice and then I also need to select what time this remark happened so when I enter the time slot category it gives me a list of available options and this one occurred 1545 to 1615 so I will select that time slot and save and there is my second remark also on the remark screen obviously you can edit or delete the remarks that have been previously entered now that we have our remarks we'll push back yeah, we can review our grid once again make sure everything's correct everything looks great to me so I will push next have already completed my inspection so I'll leave it the way it is but if you decide that you missed something you need to change it you have the ability to do so there I will push save so now we have a completed log for that day from here we have the ability to select one or multiple logs and then either delete or email that log so I selected today's log and if I wanted to email it, I will push the email function and it will ask me if I am sure if I want to email it. If you have a active email account on your phone and a data connection, you will have the ability to use that email account on your phone to email the log to yourself or to, or to your employer, which is very handy. Also, like I said before, you could delete the logs as well. Just to give you an idea, if you want to view the log on your phone completed, push the PDF function, and if you have the appropriate program, be able to view the PDF file on your phone. Try to zoom in. I know it's kind of difficult to see, but I'll try to do the best I can. You guys watching, you can see a completed log sheet. Driver's daily log has all of our information on it. Name of the carrier, address, our grid, with our remarks present, our signature, vehicle numbers, as well as the inspection at the bottom of the page. So any officer would be happy to see that, I'm sure. It, all the required information that is required by the FMCSA rules for paper logs is present. With some programs on your phone, you might also have the option to print this from your phone if you have the right equipment then also the PDF will look the same in email form when you've received it. Now one screen we haven't touched on is the 6070 recap screen. We will push that tab at this time. This screen is going to bring up the only the previous eight days logs showing the hours worked either on duty or driving for those eight days and total them up for you. So that gives you an idea of where you're at when it comes to your restart, just kind of a handy feature. And that pretty much does it for OTR Logbook.